Hi, I'm Mia Loftus, and I'm one of the nurse practitioners here at the Food Allergy Institute. One of the most exciting milestones for our patients is reaching cross-contamination. So cross-contamination is when a food that does not have allergens comes in contact with a food that does contain allergens. These foods may be labeled or given to someone and told that they do not have any allergens in it. And there may be times where you can consume that food and not have a risk with it, but there can be certain bites or certain occasions where it does actually contain the allergen, and that's when our patients are at risk. Throughout our treatment and tip, there will be periods of time where you reach the milestone of clearing cross-contamination for certain foods. This means that you're not completely cleared on a food to have it in unlimited amounts, but you're consuming enough to have cross-contamination with it. So for example, midway through your peanut cycle, you will be on a high enough amount of peanut that you are consuming more than what the risk is of having something that may contain peanut in it. At that time, you can start to eat foods that may they contain are made in the same facility as other products with peanuts. It allows for a lot more freedom um, and a lot less stress when you reach those, those points in treatment. Some steps that families can take to avoid cross-contamination is hand washing. Washing hands before preparing meals and before consuming meals is an important way to keep your children safe. Another option is to have specific areas in the kitchen dedicated for um, where allergen-free meals will be prepared. That way you know that these areas are safe and do not contain any risk of cross-contamination. You can use specific utensils, um, dishes, um, cookware to make sure that there are not any risk for cross-contamination. Another way that families can avoid cross-contamination is to ensure that there are always food labels with the food. If there is any time where a food is separated out of its original packaging, make sure that that label stays with the food in the event that anyone else that comes into the household can always reference that label. Another way to avoid cross-contamination when eating out is to ensure that the restaurant either does not have the allergens there or they have very specific dedicated areas where they do not um, have any allergens when they are preparing those foods. Inherently, it is a risk eating out when it comes to cross-contamination. 